Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a three hour cleaning marathon. I have not posted one of these in a few months but my marathon videos are by far the most popular videos here on my channel so I do like to always update these and post a new one every couple of months. I have compiled some of my favorite and most recent cleaning videos to bring you over three hours of non-stop motivation to get all of your cleaning done. If you are new here, my name is Aaliyah and I am a mom to three young kids. I have a one, four, and five-year-old. So as you can imagine, the messes around here are constant. My house is very lived in and I always have a never-ending list of things to do and messes to clean up. And that is what I like to share here on my channel. I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single Friday and I hope you find my videos relatable and inspiring inspiring and just super motivating. I really hope you guys enjoy today's cleaning marathon and if you have been on my channel before you have of course probably seen some of these videos if you are a regular viewer but if you have missed some or you are wanting to catch up this is a great way to do that and if you are new here this is the perfect video for you because you can see what my channel is all about and I really hope you love it and choose to subscribe and stick around for my weekly videos videos and just to join the amazing community that we have here. But with all of that being said, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope you enjoy it and let's get some cleaning done together. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We are jumping right into things today and we are starting this video off by deep cleaning my living room. Ever since the holidays have ended, I have just been really wanting to deep clean, organize, and declutter every area of my entire home. Usually I do wait another month or two before I begin the big deep cleaning and the spring cleaning, but I did just kind of think, why not? Why wait another month when I am eager to get started now and I can just start chipping away at it all and slowly tackle each area around my home. So for today, we are starting off by cleaning under all of my couch cushions. We are also going to be moving each piece of of my couch and cleaning underneath there it was absolutely disgusting and then we are going to be steam cleaning the rug and just getting this place in order and it is very much needed but thank you so much for clicking on today's video and i am so happy that you are here One of the most common questions that I still get asked here on my channel is where we purchased our couch from. This is a sectional from Ashley Furniture. We did purchase it about five years ago, so I'm not sure if they have this exact model, but it was called the Enola, I believe, and it is by far one of my favorite furniture purchases that we have made. I absolutely love it. I was a little nervous getting such a light colored couch since we do have kids and dogs, but it has held up so well. It is super easy to spot clean and I would highly recommend it.
feel like it has only been about four months or so since I had last cleaned underneath my couch, so I was a little bit surprised to see how much stuff had already accumulated underneath here. We had dishes and toys and dog bones and snacks and pretty much everything else, so I'm going to quickly go through and collect all of the toys that I want to keep, which honestly was not much. I feel like if they have been sitting under here for months and nobody has missed them, we are probably pretty safe to throw them in the garbage. I'm also going to collect the couple of dishes that were under here, then I'm going to grab a bag, throw out all of the garbage, and then we will be going through and vacuuming and mopping the floors. Do whatever we like. We will see things clearly on top of the world is what we deserve. Now that we have all of the large pieces picked up off of the floor, I am just going through with my Tinko vacuum and vacuuming up all of the dust and dog fur. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air. Why didn't you, There was also quite a lot of dust built up on this baseboard, so I'm quickly just going through with a wet washcloth to wipe this all down. Now that we have all of the hardwood vacuumed and mopped around the couch area, we are going to be doing a little bit of a deeper clean on my area rug. I am using my Tinko carpet cleaner. I absolutely love this thing. It does a really good job cleaning and pulling all of the dirt out of the carpet. And as you can imagine, with two dogs, this area rug definitely takes a beating. It is very close to our back door where our dogs go outside. So they are constantly tracking in dirt and mud and everything else on their paws. So I do like to try and clean this rug very regularly. I am really wanting to buy a black cabinet for the wall behind me here beside my office door and I found one I absolutely love on Wayfair but it is a thousand dollars. It's not even real wood and they are charging a thousand dollars for this cabinet. I personally found that absolutely insane and I just cannot bring myself to buy a piece for so much money when it's not even real wood. So let me know down below what you guys think. I don't remember pieces of furniture being that expensive not that long ago. I know with inflation and prices of everything going up, I shouldn't be surprised, but I just feel like I cannot commit to that at this point. Once I was finished cleaning the carpet, I wanted to give it a little bit of time to dry, so I decided to head upstairs to change out my bedding. I was really needing to wash my sheets and my duvet cover, so I'm just going to quickly strip the bed so we can get this in the washing machine. Never up, never down, never. 
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up Once I got my sheets in the washing machine, I remembered that my little brother actually purchased me a new sheet set for my bed for Christmas. It is a super pretty pink color, so I decided to get this washed right now so I could get these on my bed for tonight. I do try and spin my area rug around at least once a year to try and keep the areas that everyone walks on and the areas that the couch sits on even. Of course, the areas that the couch is on, they just stay a lot whiter and fluffier. So I do like to rotate it around to just keep it all even and looking the same. Now that I am finished with the couch and area rug, I am wanting to move on to project number two I wanted to tackle in the living room, which was cleaning out my kids' toy bin. This thing is so full, it's ridiculous. There are so many toys in here that they no longer play with. So what I am doing is taking these full laundry baskets of all the toys upstairs to the playroom. I was dumping them out and the kids were actually sorting through it with Justin while I was down here cleaning. Anything they wanted to keep, they we're putting in the bins upstairs in our playroom and anything else we are going to be donating. I am keeping it extremely minimal in this toy bin. I feel like my kids play so much better when they have a very minimal amount of toys. So I am just going to be choosing three different types of toys for them to keep down here. You hear them calling, shouting your name, turn up the collar. I decided to keep a couple little people toys with the cars in the far bin. I added a couple baby toys and poppets in the middle bin. And then I chose to bring down the magnet tiles from upstairs. These are by far one of my kids most played with toys. If you don't have these magnet tiles, you are missing out. I feel like these are a toy that you just can't go wrong with and all kids would love them. Don't let them sell. After I was finished in the living room, Justin brought the kids down to have some lunch, so I decided to head upstairs to get started in our bedroom. Our master bedroom needed some love and attention. As you can see, it is quite a disaster. The dresser is a mess, there's laundry everywhere, and I just really wanted to get this room in order. Once we are finished in here, we are going to head back downstairs to clean up the dining room and the kitchen as well.
We have the Dyson Animal and I absolutely love this vacuum, but I will say I am noticing I am having to replace them a lot more frequently. I think this is my third one and our first one lasted for probably five or six years. Our second one lasted for about three or four and now I've owned this one for about two and I feel like it's already not doing the best job. I do know I have to clean the filters. They are quite dirty, but I am just curious and branching out to see what vacuum recommendations you guys would give for carpets upstairs, especially if you have dogs. Now we are back downstairs and we are going to be getting started in the dining room, cleaning up all of the arts and crafts mess that is constantly cluttering my table. I did ask you guys in last week's video, I think, if you had any good recommendations for craft areas or what you do in your home. And I had quite a few people say I should bring all of the crafting stuff upstairs and have a little area in the playroom, which of course makes the most sense. And I do think that will be our solution in the the future the only issue with that right now is Quinn she is into everything right now she is almost 19 months old and she absolutely loves to participate in the drawing and the coloring and all of that kind of stuff and as you can imagine that just does not work out well in a room full of carpet and where she can get on the walls and everything else the nice thing about it being down here is I can strap her in her high chair so she can kind of participate with the kids but I am a little nervous to bring it upstairs where she has access to it so that will be the plan probably in the next year or so when she's old enough to not draw all over everything that's not paper. My kids have been absolutely loving eating their lunch or breakfast on these island chairs and I did not think this purchase through when I purchased these chairs. I went for them because they were beautiful and I just loved the way they looked aesthetically but they are not practical with kids. They get so dirty. They are kind of like a velvet material so as you can imagine everything sticks to them and they get covered in food and crumbs. They have the big crack in the back area and it's just kind of a mess. I do still love them, but I don't think I would recommend these if you have kids. kind of simple, kind of wishful about things. And you're kind of simple, 
But like a pistol, we fire Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk bites bragging We have had this stove for 10 years, so the glass top is really starting to show its wear and tear. As you can see, there is quite a lot of scratches and scuff marks, but you can see the ring around the burner. That is all caked on food and when your water boils over and stuff like that. So I'm just going through with my scraper and cleaning this off the best I can. My scraper was broken. You might be able to notice that there is only half of it, so I have to order a couple new blades off Amazon but this thing works really well for getting all of these burn rings off of your stovetop. Speaking of our oven being 10 years old, all of our appliances that we own in this home are actually 10 years old. We brought them with us from our old house, so I'm a little nervous that they're all going to go out at the same time, but our dishwasher, washer and dryer, fridge, and stove are 10 years old. So I'm a little nervous that the time is coming. We've been very lucky that they have lasted this long. I know a lot of people that have had a lot of issues with their newer appliances, but luckily we just weren't one of those people. Like I said, we did bring them from our old home and I don't know if I've, I'm sure I've mentioned it here on my channel, but Justin and I were actually high school sweethearts. We've been together since we were about 15 years old, which is absolutely wild when I look back on it, but we were wanting to move out together. The second high school was over and we had a deal with our parents that we would finish high school before of course we moved out my parents would never have let me move out before I finished school but we actually moved in together the very last day of high school it was our last diploma exam and we had that in the morning and we were moved out by the afternoon which I think is insane I look back on it and I don't know like what our parents were thinking that just seems wild to me I know we were 18 so we are technically adults and they couldn't stop us but I don't think I would want my kids moving out at 18. I don't know if I would be ready. We didn't exactly know where our lives were going. We didn't really have a plan. We planned on going to college. It's just crazy when I look back on how everything happened, but it's always meant to be. This is our second home that we purchased together and we will probably be here for the foreseeable future. It is not our forever home. I think we will eventually move, but this is where we will be to raise our kids until they are probably at least teenagers. Never say never, but I think we'll be here for quite a while. You got me dancing in your storm, burning everything we know. Drizzling up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your storm, or I'm looking like
the very last thing that we are going to be doing for this day was remaking my bed. I did want to use my new pink sheet set, so I was super excited to get that on here, and I thought it looked super pretty with the gray headboard. I also am curious and would love to do a poll down below. Are you team top sheet or do you not use a top sheet at all? I, growing up, always used a top sheet, but Justin never did, so once we moved in together, he did not want the top sheet, so now we just don't use the top sheet, and I can't see myself ever going back. I love just having the duvet cover, so I am just curious down below if you use a top sheet or do you just use the fitted sheet and your duvet? That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching all the way till the end. I appreciate it more than you know. I hope you enjoyed the deep cleaning at the beginning of this video. Let me know down below if you are as excited and ready for spring cleaning as I am. And I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Aaliyah and I love to post new cleaning motivation videos every single Friday here on my channel. I post a ton of cleaning, deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and the occasional room makeover. We are jumping right into today's video and getting started in the kitchen. As you can see, it was an absolute disaster in here, but the main thing we are going to be tackling for today is deep cleaning my dining room. We are going to be cleaning every single surface in there. We're cleaning underneath everything and just getting it done because it is much overdue. I am also going to be setting up my new filing cabinet in my office and we're also going to be cleaning the master bathroom. So we have a ton on today's list and I am so happy that you are here and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm a mess Don't know how I got here But I'm blessed Didn't know it Take me past my destiny You're behind me With the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you Now that we are finished cleaning off all of the countertops, we are going to quickly unload the dishwasher so we can just load it back up with all of the dirty dishes that are piled in the sink. I don't want your persona. I just want to be real with you tonight. Can I have you alone now? I just want to reveal what's on my mind. You tell me that you're used to no feelings, but I'm going to change it. Yeah, you'll be awakened. Cause when my love starts working on you It'll take your breath away like never before And as soon as I go na 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 It'll make you feel that good 
as I am sitting here recording these voiceovers, I actually just hit 43,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel, which honestly just blows my mind. It feels like it was just yesterday that I was getting one subscriber and then 10 and I still remember hitting 100 subscribers and I was so mind blown at that time. So as you can imagine, this is just such a surreal feeling and I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here and being subscribed to my channel or watching my videos or just however you show support. Thank you so much. I am really looking forward to doing a 50,000 subscriber giveaway. I want to do something fun so I'm looking forward to that. Definitely make sure you stay tuned. That is my goal for the year is to hit 50k so we'll see if it happens but I also would love if you guys left me a comment down below letting me know when you found my channel. I know I have asked this in the past, but I honestly love reading the responses, whether you have been here from day one or if you just found my channel on this video. I would love to hear it and I always just love getting to chat with you guys in the comments. And again, I do just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the support you have shown my channel over the years. I know it's hard to break through the chains, but I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna reach you, cause when my Now that we are finished in the kitchen, we are going to be moving on into the dining room. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this was the main thing I was wanting to get done today. The first thing I'm going to be doing is just clearing off the table before we start moving everything around. This table is super heavy and I definitely can't lift it alone so I made sure to call Justin and of course Grayson was right there to help as well. I don't think we would have been able to move it without Grayson's help so it was a really good thing that he was there. Sometimes it can be really hard to tell how dirty an area is on camera, so I did want to make sure I gave a quick close-up just to show you how much dirt and sand and crumbs had accumulated underneath this rug. Thank you. 
I wish I had an easier way to clean underneath this cabinet. There is so much stuff under here that has accumulated over the last year and I wish I could just pull this cabinet out but unfortunately with the way the mirror above it is hanging I just can't because it is holding a good majority of the weight. We do have the mirror nailed to the wall but it isn't a hanging fixture if you know what I mean. It does have to be supported by the cabinet so I can't just pull it out. I also wanted to make sure I scrubbed down this wall and baseboard area because this is where Quinn's high chair goes. So as you can imagine, there were food splatters all over it. I would usually use a magic eraser for this, but I am all out. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find another one. So I'm going to have to pick some of those up. But for now, I'm just using a cloth with some warm soapy water. Now that the floor is all cleaned and mopped, I did give it a couple of minutes to dry before putting the rug back. We're also going to be putting the table and chairs back before we move on to removing the glass top from the table. I'm just going to be putting out a couple pot holders just so the glass doesn't get scratched on the countertop. And I did want to show you a quick close up of the tabletop. So much food and Play Doh and crumbs get stuck in between the glass top and the wood top. And this thing is just such a pain, and I do not like it very much at all. But I do feel like we have to have it with kids because the tabletop is quite soft, and I feel like it would just get absolutely ruined if we took this off before the the kids are a little older. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. I wish so badly that we could keep the glass top off of this table. I love it so much more without the glass top, but this wood is insanely soft. I don't know if you guys can see like right here. This is just from like the kids forks and they're not even being roughed on it. It's from coloring. You can honestly dig your nail right into the wood and it dents it. It's extremely soft, so the glass top was a must with kids, but I'm hoping once the kids are a little bit older, we can take the glass off forever because I love it so much. It's so beautiful without the glass top. And also, the crumbs and everything else gets stuck in between the table and the glass. As you can see, it gets so, so dirty and it's just kind of gross, so I have to take this off more often. See, this is all the stuff that gets stuck between 
the table and the glass topper. And if you're wondering what all this mess is here, I ended up going shopping in between filming and I got some Easter stuff, which is so exciting. I actually went for Valentine's um, decor and they didn't have any. So I thought I better grab some Easter stuff. They had a lot of cute things and then a couple organizers for a future video. But if you're wondering why it's messy over here already, it's just from shopping, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe this down with some glass cleaner and scrub all of the gross caked on food. Once I got all of the food and grime scrubbed off of the glass with a warm cloth and some soap, I am just going through with my Method glass cleaner to polish this all off and make sure it is streak free before we get it back on the table. I have no idea what the official name is for these little plastic circles, if there even is one, but I'm just using these to place along my wood tabletop to just keep the glass from laying on the wood directly and it just allows it to lay even and flat along the surface. I will come running, Now we are going to be moving on into the office and it is not super messy in here. My kids aren't really allowed to come in here too often so they're not in here to mess it all up but I did just want to clean off the surfaces really quick before we start moving the filing cabinet into the corner where I was wanting it to go. And I will come Okay, so I finally got our filing cabinet where I want it in the office. I just put it into this corner. I put the printer on top and I'm gonna get a little plant or maybe a diffuser or something to just decorate it a little bit. It is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be, but that's okay. More storage is better than not enough. And then I have my Cricut cart here. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but I think I'm going to have to move this somewhere else or get rid of it completely because I can't open the door all the way anymore. And it just kind of makes this wall look too busy and full, I don't know. And I do have a ton of storage in these as well that I could just move all of the Cricut stuff in. So we might just get rid of it all together. I'll sit on it for a little bit and make my decision then. But I love the filing cabinet and the only change I am gonna make on it as well is just painting the knobs black like I did on my desk, these ones here. So they'll match, I just don't currently have a black spray paint. So I'll pick some of that up and that'll be an easy project, but I'm happy with it. 
and now I can finally get all of my paperwork in order. Now that the living room is tidied up as well, we are going to be moving on to vacuuming and mopping all of the flooring on my main floor. We are starting by just vacuuming the carpet in the living room and then we're going to mop in here and we're just going to kind of go room to room. We already completed the dining room so once we finish the living room, we'll move on into the kitchen and then we will be heading upstairs to start on the master bathroom. I, I will put out a lot of fire. The very last area we are going to be tackling for today's video is my master bathroom and I'm honestly a little bit embarrassed to show you guys the before of what we are going to be cleaning. This is probably the worst my bathroom has ever looked. The counter is covered in every single product that I own. It's really bad so I'm excited to get this cleaned but I also wanted to apologize for the lighting in here. This was quite a bit later in the day so the lighting is very off. We don't get a ton of natural light in here so I'm just kind of working with what I got. I did also plan on doing a complete bathroom declutter and organization on this day but I just did not end up having enough time and honestly I was running out of steam so I decided to just get it cleaned up because it was really needing it and we will be tackling the bathroom declutter probably in next week's video. I'm feeling you could be the one see no reason why I should ever let you go mm. I don't want to wake up if Quinn was so excited when she ran into the bathroom and seen all of my makeup brushes on the ground so of course she had to do her makeup and I don't know what it is about this crown she loves to wear it kind of like glasses she wears this constantly and I don't know I tried to fix it for her and she wasn't having it but I just wanted to share a little clip of her because I know a ton of you guys always ask to see her and she is getting so big so quickly Don't want 
wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know Thank you guys so much for being here for today's video and spending this time with me. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. If you are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe down below if you enjoy cleaning videos. And I will see you all next Friday with a brand new one. Bye guys. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an all day clean with me. I'm just starting off by cleaning all of the toys off of the floors before we head into the dining room and the kitchen. We are also going to be heading upstairs to clean the playroom and the bedrooms and we are finally tackling the messy closet in my playroom. I have been putting it off for way too long and it is an absolute disaster so I am really looking forward to getting that done today. So you guys will have tons of cleaning motivation, organizing, and decluttering coming your way in today's video, and I really hope you all enjoy this one. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold, said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control, I've been going crazy. As I was pushing the chairs in, I did notice they were a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to go ahead with my cloth and give them a quick wipe down. It's kind of quiet in my room right now without you. And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now. I don't show this area very often, but this is in our laundry room right at the entryway to our garage. And this actually used to be just a standard coat closet, but we decided to rip it out and make this built in hall tree. And I absolutely love it. It is perfect for school age children. So if this is something you have ever thought about doing, it was actually fairly simple. And like I said, 100% worth it. I have gained quite a few new subscribers over the last couple months or so, so thank you all for being here. And I did want to take a second to just quickly introduce myself. My name is Aaliyah, and I am so happy that you found my channel. I am a mom to three young kids. I have a five year old son and two daughters aged four and one. I feel like I am currently in a very busy season of life right now. Everything is crazy and chaotic more often than it is not, but I I am just trying to embrace every single second. I did create my channel almost four years ago, which is absolutely crazy, but I did create it in hopes of having a space where other women could come to feel motivated and inspired and just have someone else to relate to. Life is crazy and chaotic and the days can be so hard, but just know you are definitely not alone in the struggles of motherhood or keeping up with your home or honestly just in the daily duties of life in general. I do post new cleaning videos every single Friday. I love to share cleaning motivation, organization, decluttering, home updates, and the occasional room makeover. So I really hope that you do enjoy my content and you find it relatable. And to all of my returning viewers, thank you so much for being here for another video. And I really hope you all enjoy this one. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect.
I asked a couple videos back if there were any cleaning products or cleaning tools that you guys wanted to see me use here on my channel and one of the most popular ones was the Bissell Steam Shot so I did just order that and I am so excited for it to come in so I can try it out. He looks at me like I know what he's thinking, but I don't have a clue. True talent in avoiding conversation, yeah, it's almost rather cruel. Oh, I know he got me good in his pocket. I know that I'm just a treat. As you can see, we are now upstairs in the playroom and the very first thing I wanted to do in here was clean the couch and TV side. I wanted to grab a bucket and just grab all of the toys that were on this side and just bring them over to the toy side so I can easily organize them back into our toy organizers. And then once we are finished cleaning the room, we are going to get started on pulling everything out of the closet. My kids have way too many toys and I do acknowledge that. I am going to try and figure something out in here whether we get rid of half of the stuff we own or if I do try and do some sort of toy rotation. Now that we are going to be cleaning out the closet, maybe I can fill some bins and keep them in there and then just rotate them out on a weekly basis. I do find my kids play a lot better in this room when it is clean and honestly when they have less stuff to choose from. I have been doing a ton of thinking on where I want my channel to go this year and I of course am never going to stop doing cleaning motivation. That is my wheelhouse, that is my home here on YouTube and I absolutely love doing motivation videos and I will continue to post those every Friday. I have been thinking about doing maybe some sort of motivation style video slash day in the life type video. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but there are some girls here on YouTube that do them and I personally love watching them where you kind of just get taken on the daily life but you also get a mix of cleaning maybe some grocery shopping some meal prepping and just 
things I have on the go and things I need to accomplish in a day, I might pop on and talk a little bit more to the camera and I would post those in addition to the cleaning videos. I would always post these every week and then maybe I would do a bonus video here and there. Please let me know down below what you think and if that is something you'd be interested in or if you would prefer me just stick to the cleaning motivation in the style that I currently do it. Definitely don't hesitate to tell me that down below because I of course want to make content that you guys want to see but I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts and I don't know I'm just brainstorming right now and I think it would be fun to maybe add in a little mix to my channel. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seemed to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I won, got it done <sighs> Okay, I just finished cleaning the playroom It is as good as it's gonna get for now I am so frustrated with this room It is definitely one of my least favorite rooms to clean these days Because it is always just so full of toys we have way too much stuff and i know that so i'm definitely going to be taking care of it but i kind of want to get a game plan first so i'm going to figure it out we'll probably just donate and throw out a lot of stuff because we don't need it every single bin is completely overflowing like the kitchen bin completely full the dress-up bins are completely full the superhero bin is full everything and the kids don't even play with 60% of the stuff plus they play in here a lot better when it's clean and tidy and there's not stuff everywhere so That's gonna be that's gonna be a big project. I have coming up because I just can't I just can't deal with it anymore, but we are going to be tackling This closet it's really bad in here as well um, So yeah, I'll show you guys that but that is the next thing we're going to be doing lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. lucky, lucky, lucky. So here is a quick overview of this closet. It is honestly even worse than I thought it was going to be. The main things in here are some extra toys that my kids get for gifts and they have duplicates so I save those for any future birthday parties they get invited to. We have all of their board games in here and I keep all of my gift wrapping stuff which is quite a mess and I don't really have the best solution for this but it does work for me and I will show you once we are finished in here what I end up doing but we are going to get started on taking everything out. I did decide to go rack by rack. I didn't want to take every single thing out of the closet. I thought that would be a little bit more overwhelming. So we're going to start, like I said, going rack by rack and just work in one area at a time. I guess that I was born beneath a very lucky star. And in a week or two, I won't remember who you are. Man down. He ran out of luck and now it's my time Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track Here she goes Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I saw a really cool gift organizer for the back of a door and I might purchase one of those. I believe it was from the container store and it was some sort of metal rack but there was an area to put all of your wrapping paper and all of your gift bags and all of your ribbons. I don't know if there was an area for tissue paper but I'm sure I could make one but if I bought one for each of these doors it would be perfect for the inside of this closet.
my kids absolutely love games and honestly Justin and I do too every single night when Quinn goes to bed at 7 Grayson and Rowan get to stay up till 7 30 so for that half an hour each evening we always play a family game together of course Quinn when she's a little bit older she'll get to play too but she is only a baby right now and she does not understand the concept but we play with the two older kids and like I said it honestly is probably one of my favorite parts of every single night so if you have any really good board games or games in general definitely leave them down below because we are always on the hunt for some new good ones you say that you're sorry we turn the page and make up a broken trust got you haunted the doubt in you was enough to leave me chasing you on and on but i don't care i will let you in you said goodbye This looks so much better. It feels so good to get this done. And I can actually see what's in here and find what I'm looking for. So I just put a couple of the bigger things like a puzzle and one of the toys at the top there. These boxes are just old DVDs we have. Um, we keep them for our camping trailer. And then just a couple more toys that I have for gifts for future birthday parties. On this shelf is a couple puzzles and then some of the bigger games that aren't in a box and then a few of the adult games we have. And then on this shelf is all of the kids games that we play quite frequently so they can reach these and grab these themselves. This shelf is all of the gift bags. I know this isn't the most practical way to store these but it actually works really well for me. When I'm looking for a bag I can just quickly flip through them and find what I need. And then just on the bottom area I have all of the wrapping paper, the box of what are those called bows and ribbons and all of that fun stuff and then all of the tissue paper I have. This is all the new stuff I have which I'm going to try not to use until I use this bin. This is all the used stuff but I do like to keep it so I just fold it up and put it in this little basket so I can use that whenever I need it. So yeah, this looks so much better and I'm really happy with having this done. This is all the stuff that I am not keeping. It is mostly tissue paper for gift wrapping. It was pieces that were ripped or just ones that I've had for so long and I don't use them. And then the rest of the stuff on the floor is garbage and little toys that I am not going to be keeping. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. 
Now we're going to start on cleaning the kids' rooms. This was around four o'clock in the evening and my goal was to try and get this done before dinner time. Justin was downstairs making dinner, so I had probably about an hour to get all of the rooms cleaned up. Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Little in the bitching sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. Yeah. Put your rose colored glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an enemy crime to get a little lost in everybody's bed. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody. A couple videos back, I got quite a few comments saying that they didn't understand why I was bringing both girls into this room instead of keeping them in the other room because they thought that the other room was bigger and didn't understand why Grayson was going to be by himself in there. And I find it so interesting because this room that I am moving the girls into is actually quite a bit larger. Like, almost double the size of the other room. So it must just be the way it films and the way the camera shows it because this room is significantly bigger compared to the other room. And that's why the girls are going to be going in here and Grayson will get the other room, which is smaller to himself. And now we are moving on to Quinn's room. Her room is never that messy because we don't really spend a ton of time in here, but I of course just want to pick up the few things that are on the floor, dust off all of her furniture, and vacuum the carpets. So now this is a little bit later in the evening and I had this load of the kids laundry in the dryer from the night before and I really just wanted to get it folded and put away before we put the kids to bed. I think this was around 6.30, 7 o'clock so I just wanted to get this last thing done and then I would feel like I had a very accomplished day.
That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment letting me know what your plans are for this weekend. And I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys. guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here today's video is going to be a continuation from last week in last week's video we did tackle my main floor cleaning up the chaos and disasters that were made over the christmas break if you did miss that one make sure you check it out because it was a really good one but we are continuing on with the after christmas cleaning but we are going to be focusing on the bedrooms and the playroom we will also be cleaning the kitchen later on in the video because let's be honest that always needs to be done but the main focus of today's video is definitely going to be finishing resetting my house for the new year I just feel like everything is so messy and chaotic right now and I just do not thrive when my house feels cluttered like this I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about but when my house is a mess I feel like it just kind of brings me down and puts me in a grumpy mood I don't feel as productive as I would like to feel and just in general stresses me out a little bit so we are going to be taking care of all the messes today and I really hope you enjoy this one. I just wanted to take a minute to just say hello and welcome if you are new here to my channel. My name is Aaliyah and I am a wife and a mom of three young kids. I have a five-year-old son and two daughters aged four and one. We also have two big dogs, so we have a very full house around here. I am a Northern Alberta Canadian girl and I do post new cleaning videos every single Friday here on my channel. I love to share the real life messes and moments that come along with being a mom and keeping a home and I would love for you to stick around and subscribe down below if you are interested in that type of content and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for being here I feel like I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the love and support you have shown my channel over the last few years and I am so excited to see where 2023 will take me and my channel I do have a lot of fun stuff planned for my channel this year I am really going to be focusing on decluttering and organizing a lot of my home this year. I feel like we just have so much stuff and things that we have collected over the years, especially with three kids. It is just constant. You are constantly getting new things to bring into the home and I'm really just wanting a good refresh and restart. We do also have quite a few room makeovers planned for this year. We are also redoing the backyard this summer and I just have a lot on my list. So I'm excited to start tackling it all and bringing you guys along with me. Glance, 
Let your eyes raise a sharp cover through the crowd. Now that we have all of the surfaces in the bedroom cleaned and I finally folded that load of laundry that has been sitting on my TV stand for probably the last five days or so, we are going to finish up by just vacuuming all of the carpet in here before moving on to the kids' bedrooms. <laughs> Now we are going to be moving on to Grayson and Rowan's shared room. I get so many questions about when we are going to be switching the kids' rooms around. We are going to be switching the girls together in this bedroom. This is the larger of the two bedrooms, and we are going to be moving Gray over to the smaller room by himself. And like I said, I get a ton of questions about this, and the main reason we have not switched them yet and I am kind of holding off is because Quinn is still waking up through the night. She is 18 months old, and she's still wakes once a night which is kind of a pain and I know she's going to grow out of it soon so the second she starts sleeping through the night most nights we will start transitioning the rooms around because I just don't want her waking Rowan up in the night especially when there's school the next day and all of that kind of stuff but I am really excited to get the bedroom switch and I promise it is coming I'm just kind of waiting until the right time for us my parents did get us a beautiful shower chandelier for the girls room when we do switch it around. It is so pretty and it just motivates me to get started on it. I am slowly collecting decor pieces and furniture that we are needing for the new rooms and I'm just really excited to get it done so I promise it's coming. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in I also wanted to just quickly talk about the clock that is on the kids dresser here. This is one of our newer purchases and we did get this clock because our kids do wake up a little bit too early and they always come out of their rooms way too early in the morning. So I did look up some options on Amazon and I found this one. I cannot remember the name or brand of it off the top of my head, but I will have it linked down below if you're interested. But it's super cool because you can set it to whatever time you like for nighttime and it will show a moon and then you can also set it for the right time for your family for the morning and it will show a sun so this way your kids can wake up and if the sun is out they know they are able to get out of their beds and come out of their rooms but if it is still a moon they know to stay in their beds and it is not yet morning time or time to get up we have been loving this in our house like I said my kids like to wake up way too early so this way when they see the moon they know they are supposed to stay in their beds and go back to sleep or maybe have some quiet time or reading a book whatever they choose to do but they have been doing a really good job with it and I would highly recommend it if you have early risers in your house Make everything 
Something I have recently decided that I want to switch out in the bedrooms is our carpet. When we first moved into our home, the walls were actually painted yellows and greens. It was horrible and they chose to go with the brown toned carpets which don't really go with the style of my home. I feel like if I went with a cream or a gray carpet, it would just work so much better and just be a lot prettier. I have thought about the idea of pulling the hardwood into the bedrooms as well, but that of course would be a lot more of an expensive option and I honestly do like carpet in the bedroom. I just feel like it is cozier and just warmer, I guess, but let me know what you think down below. I am honestly not really sure what carpet costs to replace. I am hoping it's not too expensive, but I just think a gray toned carpet would look so much better in my house. So I had this huge load of laundry sitting in the dryer from the day before of all of the kids laundry. So I wanted to quickly go through and get this all folded and put away. The first thing I do with the kids laundry is sort it between the girls stuff and Grayson stuff. Rowan does still keep her clothes in Quinn's room. So I'm just putting all of the girl stuff in the laundry basket to get that put away a little later on. And then we're just going to be putting all of Grayson's stuff away right now. was actually napping during this time so we're not going to be getting the girls laundry put away just yet so once we are finished getting all of Grayson's stuff put away we're just going to be moving directly on into the playroom and we will get their stuff put away a little later on I have honestly been kind of dreading getting into the playroom and cleaning it up in here. This is definitely one of the most daunting rooms in my entire house to clean up. It takes me so long and it is just a really tedious job, but it is one of my favorite rooms in the entire house to have clean, so I do always look forward to getting it done. The biggest thing I wanted to focus on in here was getting some of the larger items out of here and donated. Rowan did get some new wood furniture for her dolls, so I'm going to be getting rid of this plastic crib. I'm also going to be getting rid of some of the larger baby items like the ride on train and the big baby cube and just cleaning up the floor with that kind of stuff. I'm also going to go through and get all of the little stuff put away in the bins where it belongs and I just cannot wait to get this room decluttered later on.
Another big project I have in mind is actually the closet in this playroom. I don't show it very often. I have organized it a time or two in my videos, but it has the wire rack shelving and it just does not utilize the space as well as it could. So I would love to tear all of the shelving out and put in some really nice wood shelves, repaint the area and just organize it and declutter it a lot better than it currently is. So I'm really looking forward to doing that hopefully within the next couple months as well. The door off to the side in this clip here is the closet I am talking about. It is a nice big double door closet and the main things that we have in here are all of the kids board games. We have a bunch of puzzles in here and I also use this area for all of my birthday gift wrap and tissue paper and gift bags and I know we could organize the space a lot better than it currently is so I am really looking forward to tackling that. This side table is always such a clutter magnet for garbage and little toys and things I take away from Quinn and for some reason everything that ends up on this table ends up getting pushed off and falling behind it. So as you can see we have quite a collection of things back here. I'm just quickly going to grab all of the toys and dishes that I am not going to be throwing out and then I'm just grabbing a garbage can and throwing out all of the garbage before we vacuum back here. I can't remember if I mentioned it in last week's video or not, but Justin and I got an air fryer from my parents for Christmas. I feel like we are one of the last people to get an air fryer. I know so many people love them, but we finally got one and I am so excited about it. It has definitely become one of our most used items in our entire kitchen. I think we have used it every single day, whether it be for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It is going to be very well loved in our house. I believe it is the ninja xl there's two baskets and there is more than enough room to cook for our family of five but if you have any favorite recipes that you use your air fryer for definitely leave them down below in the comments because i would love to try them out
Now that we are finished upstairs in the playroom, we are going to be heading downstairs to get started in the dining room and the kitchen. My dining room table is always such a disaster these days. My kids are very into arts and crafts right now, which is wonderful. I love that they love to be creative, but my dining room table is definitely taking a hit. The second I clean it off and turn around to go somewhere else, they are bringing all of the arts and craft supplies back out, which again is of course totally fine but I wish there was a better solution or somewhere that they could do this. We did used to have a little table for kids and it didn't really work out. It was kind of just a pain in the butt and the table wasn't big enough for them to get all of their stuff on it. So I don't think there's much of a solution, but if you have one, definitely leave it down below. But I think this is just something we're going to have to deal with and our table is going to be constantly used for coloring and drawing and painting and all of that kind of fun stuff. Something else I would really like to do here on my channel for 2023 is try out and test out a lot of new cleaning products and cleaning tools and just be able to share the results with you guys whether I like them or not. I am not super adventurous when it comes to cleaning products. I don't stray away from things I usually buy so this is going to be fun for me as well. So let me know down below any of your favorite cleaning products that you like to use whether it be on your floors, in your kitchen, in your bathrooms, or any of your favorite tools. I would love to try out some new cleaning tools as well. I actually have never tried out the Bissell Steam Shot, so I think I'm going to purchase one of those and just things like that. So if you have anything fun that you are interested in seeing or if you have something that you love using yourself, leave it down below and I will definitely add it to the list. Now that we have the dishwasher unloaded, we are going to start working on loading all of the dirty dishes back into it. We're also going to be scrubbing out the sink. That is one of my favorite parts of cleaning the kitchen. There is just nothing better than a freshly cleaned sink.
this ended up being a lot later in the day and we are actually just getting ready to put the kids down for bed and I saw this load of laundry sitting here and I was determined to get it done. So Justin took the kids into the playroom for a little bit of extra time and I'm going to quickly just fold and put away all of this laundry so I don't have any of it to do for tomorrow. Porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching and making it all the way till the end. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I also wanted to quickly say thank you for all of the love on last week's video. It's so exciting when a video performs well and it is a great way to start the year 2023 here on my channel. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week I have some weekend cleaning motivation for you. I cleaned throughout the entire weekend just trying to get caught up on all of the housework and the things I have fallen behind on. We had a super busy weekend this weekend so I did just grab the camera every time I had some time to get some cleaning done. So you will probably notice my outfit switched throughout the video just on the different days that I was cleaning. My house was an absolute mess, so we are going to be tackling a ton of cleaning in today's video. We are also going to be refilling my spice cupboard, and I also included working on the kids' valentines with them at the end of this video. So there is tons of motivation in this one, and I really hope you all enjoy it. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. If this is your very first time here on my channel, hello and welcome. Or if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Aaliyah and I do post new videos every single Friday here on my channel. I love to share cleaning motivation, decluttering, organizing, deep cleaning. I also love to share the occasional room makeover. So if those are the types of videos that you're interested in, definitely stick around and subscribe down below. I am a mom to three young kids. I have a one, four, and five-year-old, so as you can probably imagine, the messes are quite literally never-ending around here. I hope you find my content to be super motivating and relatable. I know sometimes these cleaning videos might seem a bit discouraging or deflating because you watch someone clean their entire house from top to bottom in what looks like 20 minutes, but I promise you it is all editing. These videos take take hours and hours and on some occasions like this video it took me days to get this done I do not clean my entire house in one day very often and when I do it is because it is a filming day so I don't want you guys to ever feel discouraged when you watch these cleaning videos because I know sometimes it might make it seem like I have it all together but I promise you I do not my house is always a mess and I struggle with maintaining my home and keeping things cleaned and organized organized just like you do. My house is very much lived in and I just want it to be a home. I try not to sweat the small stuff and the messes and the chaos and I just hope you find my channel to be relatable and realistic and of course motivating.
Now that I had the island cleared off, but before I wiped it down, I did want to refill some of my spice jars that were starting to run low. I always try and buy all of my spices in the big bulk containers or in the little bagged spices just because it is so much cheaper that way and then I keep these in a basket in my pantry and can just refill my pretty spice jars when needed. I did buy these glass spice jars with the bamboo lids off of Amazon. I do have them linked down below in my Amazon storefront if you are interested. And then I created the spice labels on them using my Cricut. I included that in a video probably a couple of years ago now and they are still holding up so well. So I would definitely recommend that if you are interested. I love having the glass spice jars and I don't think I could ever go back to using just the store-bought plastic ones. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you'll come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. So I mentioned it in last week's video and I know I have mentioned it through multiple videos over the last year or so that our dishwasher was on its way out. It has been slowly dying over the last year and it was a sad day in the Martins household this week because our dishwasher officially stopped working and you guys know I absolutely loathe hand washing dishes. It is my least favorite thing and I avoid it at all costs but this week I am stuck washing every single dish by hand so that is what we are going to be doing. So the dishwasher we have had was a Bosch. We bought it in 2012, I believe. So it was almost 11 years old and it was so good to us. So we decided we wanted to go with a Bosch dishwasher again. Well, we went to every single store in our city and not one had one in stock and they were back ordered for the next six to nine months. And I just cannot be without a dishwasher for that long. So we decided to look around and do some research on different brands and it was hard. It was a hard choice because I honestly really wanted the Bosch 300 series. It was exactly what I wanted and that is what we will get in the future but the one we decided on right now is the Frigid Air Gallery. I have really not heard much about this brand for dishwashers. My friend Catherine on YouTube here, she actually has a Frigid Air and she loves it but I have not heard anybody else talk about them whether that be positive or negative so 
if you have one, let me know down below. If you have any terrible stories, please keep them to yourself because we already purchased it. I'm just kidding. You can tell me. I would love to hear it, but we did already purchase it, so it will be too late if they aren't great, but I'm hoping for all good things. I am excited to get a new dishwasher because this one is going to have the third rack up top for the larger utensils and maybe water bottle lids, so I am looking forward to that, but it was a little bit unfortunate. I didn't really want to buy one at this time. I feel like the dishwasher is the most boring appliance. I feel like if we are going to buy a new appliance, I would love to buy a new fridge, but that's okay. I'm sure they will all start going out soon, unfortunately, because they are all 11 years old this year. So it is only a matter of time before we are having to purchase our next new appliance. But right now we have the dishwasher and it is supposed to arrive this weekend. So by the time you guys are seeing this, we should be receiving it in the next day or two. This was the next day and we are going to be moving on to the playroom as per usual this room was an absolute mess so i was excited to get in here and clean this up this by far is the most tedious room to clean up i'm sure i've mentioned that before i don't enjoy cleaning this room up because everything is overflowing and they just have too much stuff so i'm excited to get in here and get this area decluttered and organized a little bit better i am going to start a toy rotation quite a few of you recommended that a couple of videos ago so i do plan on implementing that I just have to get a solid game plan for exactly what I want to do in here and how I want to do it and then we will be getting that done. I cannot believe how quickly this year is already going by. I'm sure some of you can probably relate, but I cannot believe it is already the middle of February. I feel like time goes faster after you have kids. I feel like time absolutely flies now that I am an adult. I remember when I was a kid and even something like the summer in between the school years would go by so slowly and now it just flies everything merges together and i just cannot believe how quickly the months go by we have also been extremely busy over the last month or so which of course makes time go by even faster the kids have been busy with school and extracurricular activities and we have them in swimming lessons and then of course everything justin and i have going on we also had our tenants move out of our rental property this last week so we have been quite busy dealing with that we have been over at the rental house cleaning it and getting it prepped for our next renters we do have it already ready to go and Elise signed for March 1st which is great I'm excited for them to move in and love the house it is such an adorable house I did share when we purchased our rental property last spring I believe I included a tour of the home in my spring deep cleaning video from last March ish around that time if you guys are interested in checking it out but we do have the new tenants ready and we've just been over there getting the house ready to go for them so lots going on over here but it's all good things
I cleaned my Dyson vacuum filters in last week's video, so I'm just quickly going to put all of the filters back in and reassemble my vacuum before we go through and vacuum all of the carpet in my playroom. I will say this helped so much my vacuum was working good as new and I could tell the suction power was back to normal. Now that I am finished cleaning up the playroom, I am going to be quickly restocking my kids bathroom drawer with some baby wipes that I purchased at Costco. Who is awake already? She took the shortest nap ever. Hey, can you say hi? Uh, yeah. hi. She's all mullet right now, so I'm gonna put her hair in some pigtails. Do you want some pigtails? Yeah, we'll put some pigtails in. And hopefully I can get some more cleaning done when Justin gets home. The very last room that we are going to be cleaning in today's video is my master bathroom. The countertops were absolutely destroyed, so I just had to get everything put back where it belongs, get everything wiped down and cleaned up. I did plan on cleaning a little bit more this weekend than I ended up getting done, which sometimes happens, of course. We ended up being really busy this weekend with just doing things as a family, and like I mentioned, we were busy at the rental house, so unfortunately, I didn't get as much done as I would have liked, but that's okay. It was still a super productive weekend, and I felt really good going into Monday. It doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle of this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you on in circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. And I should let it be. But I'm gonna die. 
I really like my Blueland bathroom cleaner and I do also like my Mr. Clean Clean Freak when it comes to cleaning my bathroom countertops and the sinks, but I would love to know what your favorite bathroom cleaner is for the counters and the sinks and wiping everything down because I always love to try new products out. It doesn't even make sense why we try to fight it. The very last thing we are going to be doing for today's video is getting the kids Valentine's ready for their classes. This was the weekend before Valentine's Day. I know this video was posted afterwards, but I filmed it over a week ago and the kids were so excited to do this. They are at such a fun age for this kind of stuff. I love that they love to help and get involved. Grayson can write his own name on his Valentine's and it is just the sweetest thing ever and these are the moments I always want to remember. I used to dream of these moments when I was younger. I have always wanted to be a mom and just do these types of things with my kids. So I always look forward to every single holiday, even if it is the small ones. My kids also did come with me to pick the Valentines out. Rowan went with the princesses and Grayson did Avengers. He actually wanted Mario or Pokemon, but we couldn't find either. So he did land on Avengers and then we chose the cookies and cream little chocolate bars to go with each one. I do end up getting ditched by both of them once they are finished folding the valentines and putting the chocolate bars with each one. There was leftover chocolate bars which I promised they could have so the second those were in their hands they were off on to bigger and better things and I was stuck finishing up the valentines which of course is completely fine. <music> It's not too late to be heard, so tell me what I need to know, tell me what I need to know, and stop the train.
porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute. Yeah. Hey, would you rather sit right here? Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the bitching sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I included a few clips like the one of me and Quinn and the Valentine stuff just to add in a little something different. I have been trying to implement a little more to my cleaning videos. I know I mentioned a couple videos back that I wanted to maybe add in some bonus videos of more day in the life type motivation and this is the kind of stuff that I was talking about so definitely let me know if you are interested in seeing more more of that but thank you again so much for watching and making it all the way till the end of this video please give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will see you all next week with a new video bye guys hi guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another all day clean with me i usually start my big cleaning days off in the kitchen but i thought we would switch things up for today and get started in my master bedroom before moving on to the main floor i did wake up feeling very productive this day which has honestly not been happening very often for me i have been struggling with feeling unmotivated and just kind of exhausted these last few weeks so i really tried to take advantage of waking up feeling motivated to clean i do feel like january especially and february are always a little bit harder of months for me with energy levels i feel like i was riding the high of the holidays in december and then after the holidays i am just ready for spring and summer but now that the sun is staying out a little later the days are longer and that is always huge for me with being productive i was also very behind on housework so that was motivating me as well so we do have tons to clean in today's video and i really hope you all enjoy this one I know I was I am using the lemon pledge to wipe down all of the furniture in my bedroom. I have tried quite a few other cleaners and I always find myself coming back to this one. Pledge is definitely my personal favorite to wipe down and dust all of the furniture in my house.
as I was cleaning, I did notice this stain on my fabric bed. Who knows how long this has been here or what it is. It is probably chocolate from one of my kids. I wasn't sure how I wanted to get this off, so I decided to try my mixture of Dawn dish soap and vinegar. I let this sit for about a minute and it ended up coming right off. It worked so well. I have never used this mixture as a stain remover, but I would highly recommend it after doing this this because like I said it worked perfectly I am very overdue when it comes to cleaning the filters on my vacuum. As you can see in this clip, they are extremely dirty. I'm pretty sure the top portion is supposed to be purple, so we are going to be tackling that before we move downstairs. So I'm just going to be taking all of the filters out of the vacuum and we're going to be taking those into the laundry room to get those washed out and cleaned. After running hot water through the two main filters, I did also grab this piece of the vacuum. Full disclosure, I am not sure if you are supposed to put this piece under the water, but I did try to clean it off with my hands and that just was not working. The dust was so caked onto it and I felt like I didn't really have many options. So I did decide to just run this under the water and it worked perfectly. It is super clean afterwards and I have used my vacuum since this and it it works like it is brand new so again I don't know if I should recommend this or not but it did work really well for me My kitchen, especially the island, was an absolute mess. I know I have mentioned this on my channel before, but I feel like the state of my kitchen dictates how I am going to feel for the day. If my kitchen is a mess and chaotic, I feel like I just get a lot more frustrated and grumpy throughout the day. I function so much better when my kitchen is clean. I know a lot of you can probably relate to that, but I was super excited to get in here and get this room cleaned up. Run away with me It'd be worth the time Run away with me i make you feel alright Run away with me And I'll be good this time If you are not yet following me over on Instagram, I would love for you to head over there and follow me on that platform as well. I will have it linked down below. It is at Aaliyah Martins on Instagram. I have been trying really hard to post a lot more consistently over there and I just keep you a little more up to date on our daily lives and I just try to post at least once a day on my stories or on my feed. So like I said, if you are interested in following me on more of a daily basis instead of just the weekly updates here on YouTube, 
YouTube, definitely head over to Instagram to follow me over there. Oh, if it's you I've been waiting for, I better make you worth my time. So don't you pay them any mat. Close your eyes, follow the sound. Keep it calm through the night. We don't need to slow down. Take it all. I'll give you what you need. If you're saving me. I am planning on doing some office organization very soon. This current setup with the kids art supplies in the office isn't working out as well as I was hoping it would. They are always coming in here and of course then Quinn wants to come in and she goes through everything and this isn't the best place for her. There's some stuff in here that I would prefer she not throw around. So I'm hoping to get the art supplies maybe out into the living room. I do have a cabinet I want to order for my living room and it would be the perfect spot for all of the art stuff and then I can use the office to organize different things like extra cords and phone chargers and my camera equipment and all of that kind of stuff. I do have so many plans and projects and spaces I want to tackle this year. I'm hoping I can get to them all but in the season of life I am currently in, it does make it quite difficult. I have three little kids and I feel like I don't have a lot of extra time. As well as I'm sure you guys have noticed, the prices of everything are astronomical right now. It is so expensive to buy basic things like groceries and bills. But then when it comes to furniture and even organization stuff, things are so costly right now so I'm definitely trying to pace myself and just make sure I am doing it on the budget I would like to do it on and like I said working around my three children I know I mentioned on my channel all of the projects that I do have planned and I have a list ongoing so like I said hopefully I can tackle them all but I am trying to be kind to myself in the season of life that I am currently in. I think the time has finally come that we are going to have to start looking for a new dishwasher. Our dishwasher is 10 years old and I feel like that is pretty good for appliances these days, but it is starting to have a lot of issues. The seals are kind of disintegrating. It's not draining properly. It does still clean the dishes, but I know it is only a matter of time. So please leave me any recommendations down below of what type of brands or models that you like or or if you have a dishwasher that you would recommend. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but I am going to be sharing a huge Costco grocery haul later on in this video. I think it is one of the biggest hauls I have ever done and probably the most I have ever spent at one time at Costco, but I will be sharing everything I purchased and I will also share how much I spent if you are interested later on in the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We should be good, but we keep out of fires The words you keep, cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we keep out of fires Fires around ourselves We should be good, but we keep out of fires The words you keep, cause we're scared of the silence
scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. It's so hard to tell on camera, but my floors were so dirty. They were covered in dog prints and fur and crumbs. So I'm going to go through and get all of the rugs and hardwood vacuumed. And then I'm also going to get out my mop and mop all of the hardwood as well. My go-to for mopping my floors is always a super hot water. I add the original Mr. Clean and then a squirt of dish soap and this always works so well for getting the floors cleaned. It also leaves them super shiny which is always a plus. As I was getting my cleaning done, Rowan was working on this little sun catcher. I think that's what they're called. You just paint in the plastic pieces and then you can hang it on the window. I'm also going to be quickly just cleaning up the mess that she left. I don't expect her to clean up messes like this as it is paint and water. I would much rather her leave it there for me to clean up or we all know it's going to end up being a bigger mess on the floor. It has been a little while since I have done a big Costco grocery haul, so I thought I would share one today because me and the kids went a little crazy at Costco today, and you guys are probably going to be appalled at how much all of this cost us. Um, also, if you do hear any noises, it's just Quinn and Grayson. Rowan's at school today, so I just have the two of them home with me today, and they're just eating some lunch. But I will start on this side. I did get two packs of these kids water bottles. We always need new water bottles. I feel like we're constantly losing them and breaking them. So I got the girls pack and the boy pack. We got lots of fruits and veggies. We got some mangoes, pears, strawberries, avocados, mushrooms, and cauliflower. I got this breakfast hash. This is super good in the air fryer. I got a bag of jasmine rice and then we got all the cheeses. We got shredded cheese, string cheese, and sandwich cheese, and then some butter. I have never tried this Annie's brand of mac and cheese, but I got this because it was on sale and it's a lot cheaper than any other brand right now. So I purchased a 12 pack of this. We got some sour cream, some whipped cream, a three pack of sandwich bread. And then I just got some yogurt and then some little drinkable yogurts down there. This is a pack of tomato paste, a two pack of margarine. I got a ham. This is always a favorite in our house. Some sandwich baggies for school snacks. 
I got these taquitos. That's what the kids are eating right now. That's why they're already open. Um, I just throw those in the air fryer for a couple minutes and they all love them. I got some mini pizzas also for easy lunches for the kids. We got some ground beef and then a two pack of the bottom blade pot roast. Those are my favorite ones. We got a two pack of batteries. I got double A's and triple A's. Um, they were on sale, so I just grabbed them both. These are the best cookies ever. They are so soft and chewy. They're delicious. I probably shouldn't have bought them because I want to eat them, but they are a school stack, so I'm gonna try my best. Um, these little Ritz cheese sandwich crackers, some bacon. I got a three pack of tofu. Justin and I like to switch it up sometimes and eat tofu. Some mini cucumbers, those are the kids' favorite. I got some shrimp, some potatoes. We got a two pack of muffins. Um, Grayson picked the chocolate and then banana chocolate chip, some cornstarch, some coffee, and then some TurboTax because, or some TurboTax, just a TurboTax. Justin's going to do our taxes this year for the first time, so we'll see how that goes. But that is everything I purchased, and oh my gosh, I'll grab the receipt, but it was a lot. <laughs> It was $740 for all of this stuff, which is absolutely insane in my opinion. Like it's a lot of groceries, but it's not that much groceries. It's just astronomical to live right now. It's painful, but I will say the TurboTax was I think $120. I did buy batteries, I bought water bottles. So I did buy other things other than just food, but it adds up so quickly and it is slightly painful. And the last area that we are going to be tackling for today's video is going to be my kids' bathroom. I have to clean the entire bathroom today, so we're going to be going through and organizing everything off of the countertop, wiping it down, cleaning the toilet, scrubbing down the bathtub, and also cleaning the floors. Sometimes you don't wanna come back cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guys bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell, I get it Oh, I'm so tired of hearing all your stories your This is my new favorite tub cleaner. I have been using it for probably the last six to eight months. I feel like it works really, really well for cutting all of the grime and it doesn't have that super harsh chemical smell.
that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and making it all the way till the end. I also want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I think that is coming up on Tuesday. We usually keep it pretty low key around here. We will probably celebrate Valentine's Day as a family. I always get the kids little Valentine's and then we will probably make homemade heart-shaped pizzas. We'll go get some ice cream, play some board games, and just keep it fun and spend it as a family. Let me know down below if you guys have any fun plans for Valentine's Day for your home or as a couple or as a family, whatever you guys like doing. And I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. As you can see from these clips, my house is absolutely destroyed from the holidays and that is what we are going to be focusing on for today's video. We are going to be cleaning up the aftermath of the Christmas chaos and I'm also going to be taking down all of my Christmas decor. I always look so forward to putting my Christmas decor up in November, but I am always just as excited to take it down after Christmas. I did end up taking a couple weeks off of YouTube for a Christmas holiday, but I am so ready to be back and jumping back into YouTube. I have a ton of videos planned for the new year, and I am just so excited to see where 2023 will take me and my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here another year with me and let's jump into my first video of 2023 which is going to be this complete disaster clean with me isn't this a good life sitting on the front porch sipping on the rocks citrus in our beverages citrus in our beverages show only the good sides a ton of the kids stuff they got for Christmas ended up on my kitchen island and the first thing I am doing to declutter and clean this space is I did grab three bins and I am dedicating one to each kid so I am organizing the stuff into either Grayson's bin, Rowan's bin, or Quinn's bin and I am just going to fill these up until they can't hold anymore and bring them back up to their bedrooms then they can go through it all and sort through what they want to put in their rooms and I will take care of the rest and put it where it belongs, whether that be in their closet, the bathroom, or in the playroom. What if we stay right here? Make everything is a pain. Hello, the bitch is on. But you're all still a glasses. The kids ended up getting quite a bit of clothes and pajamas for Christmas and instead of putting these into their bins to take up to their rooms, I decided to just grab a laundry basket and take the tags off of everything right now so I could get it all thrown in the washing machine and put away later today. I know I said it at the beginning of today's video, but I did want to quickly say it again. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and the best start to your new year. We have definitely been having the best Christmas holiday. We have been living in our little family bubble at home. We've been playing tons of games, watching tons of movies, eating good food, and just spending so much time as a family. And it completely filled my cup and I am just ready to tackle the new year. Justin went back to work this 
past Tuesday, I am back to YouTube and the kids go back to school this coming week and it's just kind of business as usual, but I am really looking forward to this new year. I have also made some New Year's resolutions for myself in all different categories. I made some fun ones, I made some fitness ones, I made some for my business here on YouTube, and I know a lot of people don't like New Year's resolutions, but I personally love them. I think they're a lot of fun, and I like having a goal to work towards, and I do also like hearing other people, so if you want to leave yours down below, definitely do that because I would love to read them. What you have to go I guess this world's too slow For you I think there's beauty In the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance No chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough For you I hope you all were healthy over the Christmas break as well. I know a ton of people have been struggling with illnesses running through their homes and you guys know we have been one of them. We were all very sick, I would say two weeks before Christmas, but we were lucky enough to all 
all be healthy and ready to go and feeling good on Christmas morning but all three of the girls in my house me and my two daughters were on antibiotics Rowan was on antibiotics for a chest infection poor Quinny had an ear infection and then I actually had a sinus infection I have apparently never had a sinus infection before I thought I had but I have never had this type of pain and headache before in my life it was debilitating and that was actually the reason I missed the first posting before Christmas I didn't plan on taking two weeks off for holidays I was only going to take the one week but we all fell sick and I knew I just needed to give myself a little bit of a break so that's what I did luckily the antibiotic kicked in and I felt much better by Christmas Eve and the girls of course are much better as well. We actually ended up having a very frustrating experience with poor Quinn. I thought she had an ear infection so I did take her to the ER on a Saturday. I believe it was middle of December but it was Saturday night. All of the doctors and walk-ins were closed so like I said we did end up going to the ER and we ended up sitting there for hours. The reason I took her in is because she did have a fever for five days. She was pulling at her ears. She was grabbing her head and saying ow so I assumed obviously something was bothering her none of my kids have ever actually had an ear infection but those are the signs i know you are supposed to look out for anyway we took her to the doctor the doctor looked her over and he actually sent us home and said she didn't have an ear infection and she was fine of course i took his word for it i i'm not a doctor but i took her home and we got home around 11 p.m that night i put her to bed and then the next morning around 9 a.m so not even 12 hours later her ear was leaking pus it was horrible i have never seen anything like that and i was so upset i ended up crying because i was just so overwhelmed we took her to a different doctor for a second opinion and of course she had a raging ear infection so really not sure what happened the night before like i said i don't know how quickly those things can happen but i'm a little frustrated with that but luckily she's on the mend she got her antibiotics and she is good to go but it definitely was quite the experience and just shows me i need to follow and trust my mom gut at all times I was filming this portion of the video on December 26th, so it was the day after Christmas. I did clean up the wrapping paper and all of that mess on Christmas morning, but the rest of the stuff in here is just the extra toys the kids have not yet played with, and then of course all of the other things that they have gotten into. Anything that is still in the box and new, I am going to be bringing upstairs and putting it into the room it belongs. Then I'm going to go through and clean all of the other toys off of the floor and put them in the toy box and then straighten out the couch before we move on to the office. We are going to be taking down all of the Christmas decor later on in today's video. The first half of the video is going to be the cleanup. I was trying to get everything cleaned up and put away first before diving in and taking down all of the Christmas stuff.
now we are moving on to one of my favorite rooms in the house which is the office i was really excited to get all of my christmas decor out of here if you guys remember we did do this office makeover video i think it was around september so i did not get to enjoy just my regular decor in here for very long because we did the office and then i feel like it was a couple of weeks before i started decorating for fall and then halloween and then christmas so i was really excited to just have a fresh start in here and enjoy the decor i originally bought If you guys did see my office transformation video, you would remember me saying I did want to go with a very fresh and clean look in here. I went with a lot of blacks and whites and greeneries and that is just still the look I'm loving. I do need a couple more things to fill these shelves, I think. I think they are a little bit too simple, but at the time, home sense was full of fall decor so i'm hoping now that it is a new year they will have a lot more of the greenery and things i'm looking for so i am going to be heading there in the next few days or so yeah i find it so hard to breathe because when you get too close i lose my way and i freeze i wish you knew last hot spot area that we are going to be cleaning in this video is going to be my dining room this was another area that everything was just getting dumped on of course the kids have been spending a lot of time at this table with a lot of their toys and their craft supplies my kids have been obsessed with doing crafts and painting and anything artsy which i'm loving i love that they are wanting to be creative and doing stuff like that so the table has definitely been paying the price so we're going to clear all of this stuff off and find a new home for it and then we're going to start taking down Christmas My floor was also an absolute disaster. I have not been worrying about cleaning over the last couple of days and my house has definitely been paying the price which is totally fine. The mess will always be there but my kids will not always be little on Christmas. 
I really do try and enjoy every single second, but I would be lying if I said I was not looking forward to getting my house back in order and ready for the springtime. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but the second Christmas and New Year's are over, I am ready for summer. I am so over winter. I want the snow to melt. I want the hot weather and I want to start making fun memories in the summer. Come on, I spit it out. I'm about to lose my mind again. How did you stop living me? How is that even possible? Possible. How could we let love go? How could we move on? Move on. Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now. Nah. Are you saying that to change your mind? Well, love a pity, let me know. Nah, nah, now. Nah. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now. Nah. Are you saying that to change your mind? Well, love a pity, let me know. Nah, nah, now. Nah. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. So this is the next day and I am wanting to get all of my Christmas decor put away in my dining room and my living room. So I'm just quickly clearing off this hutch and I'm going to be getting all of my spring decor out. I don't really decorate for spring and summer separately. I just have some greenery put out and I usually leave that out until the fall time. So my decor from now until September doesn't change too much. I know a lot of people decorate for Valentine's Day. I have never done that. Maybe I will add a few pops here and there. I do add a couple pieces for Easter and I'm not sure if I should change anything for summer. Let me know down below if you guys decorate for all of the different holidays that come around, but I'm usually just a fall and Christmas kind of gal. I also could not find my regular tear tray decor. I don't know where I stored that over the last couple of months. Hopefully I find it, but for now I'm just going to have an empty black tear tray because I don't have anything to put on it. And again, it's something else I will probably search for in HomeSense to just add a few more things. What if I lost touch? What if I I didn't want to bore you guys with taking down the tree and everything on camera so I just decided to do a quick little edit and snap my fingers and everything be cleaned up and if only it was that easy and quick in real life. One of the Christmas presents I received from Justin and the kids this year was a Grinch Christmas wreath. I love it so much. His auntie actually makes these custom wreaths and that's where he got it from. But The Grinch is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. I love Grinch anything at the holidays and I'm so sad I have to wait until next year to use this wreath. You will find a way slow.
Now that we have all of the main surfaces in the living areas cleaned and decluttered, one of the last things I was wanting to do was getting all of the floors vacuumed and mopped. It had been probably a week since I have done this, so way overdue, and I was really needing to get this done tonight. Kinda simple, kinda wishful about things, and you're kinda simple. But like a pistol, we fire Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk nights bragging and the glory And the last thing I was doing tonight was just a switching our family calendar over to January. I cannot believe it is 2023 and brand new year is here already. I always look forward to the fresh start a new year brings and I just hope 2023 brings you all nothing but the best and I wish you all a safe and healthy year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you are new and I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. I am so excited to finally be sharing my office transformation room makeover video. I have been working on this room for what feels like months now and I am so happy to finally be done with it and sharing it today. We completely transformed this space from top to bottom but of course the first order of business in here was switching out this light fixture. If you guys have been around on my channel before you know I absolutely loathe these light fixtures so I was very excited to get this out of here and be switching it for this beautiful little black chandelier and I am also just adding some daylight bulbs before we get started on clearing out this room so we have a nice clean and empty space to get started in nobody told me to settle Don't get around, but there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. After I was finished clearing all of the junk out of here, I did want to start prepping this room for paint. I wanted to paint a really dark feature wall in here, so I'm going to be wiping down all of the baseboards just to get that layer of dust off of them, and then I will be moving the outlet cover on this back wall because that is the feature wall I'm going to be doing. We did go with the color Carbon Copy by Bear, which I absolutely love, and this ended up being one of my favorite features in the entire office. Office, I highly recommend going with a dark wall if you are doing white furniture. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. I am definitely not the person that can freehand painting around baseboards and other walls, so I am going through with frog tape and just taping it all off so I get that nice clean line. Something about you I like, about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better Now that all of the taping and prep work is done, we can move on to the fun part, which is painting. I am just quickly laying a sheet out first so I don't get any paint on the hardwood. And then we're gonna start off by cutting everything in with a brush before we move on to rolling. I am so happy with this color. I did kind of go back and forth between different colors that I wanted to do for this feature wall. I wanted something really dark, but I didn't want black 
So if you are in the market for a really good feature wall color, but you are not wanting black, but still very dark, Carbon Copy by Bear is a great choice. It is still in the gray family, but as you can see on camera, it is it is almost black, but I will say it does pick up darker on camera. Trust me that it is still a dark gray, and I am just so happy with how this color looks on the wall. Will you come me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces. I did end up actually getting Justin to cut in the roof for me. He has a much steadier hand, and since this is such a dark color, I just didn't want to risk hitting the roof with the brush because that would cause all kinds of problems for me. So I did get him to do that. I didn't film it since it was a little bit of a process. He took his time and got it done. But as you can see, it is now cut in, and we have moved on to rolling the wall. And I absolutely loved watching this footage sped up. It is so satisfying to watch me paint this wall at such a higher speed because of course it was not this quick in real life it took me a little bit and I did end up doing two coats on this wall I didn't film the second coat just because I didn't want to bore you guys with all of the painting footage but I did do two coats to completely cover the gray underneath and honestly, I think this might be the color we go with for an accent wall in Grayson's room because I just think it is so beautiful. I hope it means that you come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. I did start my painting earlier in the morning, so I was able to get both coats of paint done on the same day. I got the first coat done early in the morning, and then I was able to get the second coat done in the evening after we ate supper. So now this is the next day, and I'm just going through and taking all of the tape off. I'm also going to be putting the outlet cover back on the wall, and I'm going to be doing a quick vacuum and mop in this room so we have a nice and clean floor before we bring any of the new furniture in. As you can see from this clip here, there's just a ton of fur and dust and dirt all over this floor. So I'm just going through with my Tinko wet dry vac to just get this all cleaned up quickly. It does look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that orphan gay song. I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so so maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we, baby The night is young, so let's have some fun If you love me right, yeah This could be the summer 
Now that the wall is complete, we can move on to bringing the furniture into the room and just making this a really cozy and comfortable space to be. We did save you guys the bore again of building these cabinets. It took us hours to get these all built. They are from Ikea and they are the Haga line. I might be totally butchering that. It's H-A-U-G-A -A, and we did buy three separate pieces from that collection. We bought the two shelf pieces and then the cabinet in the middle. This does give you kind of a built-in effect without it actually being built in and as you can see it fit this space almost perfectly. We actually started this makeover back in June, but then we were on hold because I could not find a rug I liked. I ordered one, it didn't fit the space, and then the one I wanted was back ordered. Long story short, this ended up being honestly a month and a half later, but we are back on track and it only took me a couple of days to get the rest of the office completed. I ordered this rug from Wayfair and it was in the size 5x7 and I don't know if it was because it was a smaller sized rug but it was so rolled up and I feel like it is still unraveling. I do have the printer and my carpet cleaner sitting on it to hopefully flatten it out. Now we are moving on to building the chair. I did also purchase this chair from Wayfair and I did get the desk from Wayfair as well. I am a big Wayfair girl. I always love their products and if I'm not happy with what I order they have always been a dream to deal with so they will continue to get my business I really struggled with finding a chair that was all black. I wanted something that had a black seat so I didn't have to worry about it getting dirty, but everything had gold legs or silver legs or something like that. So this was actually one of the only ones I could find that was completely black and it ended up being one of my favorite pieces that I purchased. The hardware for the desk was silver, so we are taking these out to the garage to get these spray painted black. So now we are moving on to the decorating portion of this video and I did decide to decorate the wall in between these two shelving units with some mixed tiles. These were absolutely perfect for this space. If you did see last week's video, you probably have seen this footage already. I did work with mixed tiles last week and I do have a discount code if you are interested. All of that information is linked on last week's video, but I did of course want to include the footage into this video as well because it is a big portion of the decor for the office. I'm not gonna play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know because you know I could ruin your life. Rumor has it you have someone new. 
I decided to put my Cricut machine on one of the shelves because it does act as a little bit of decor and color on the shelf, but it is also very easy to grab off of here when I am using it. And then I have been collecting decor pieces, mostly from HomeSense and a couple of things from Amazon over the last couple of months. So I just brought that all out onto my desk and I'm just getting all of the price tags off of them. I did go back to HomeSense and a couple other home stores trying to find some more black decor or white or with the greenery, but I am definitely out of season right now. All I could find was fall and Halloween stuff, so that was a little bit of a bummer. I feel like they did not have any just regular home decor out, so I did end up shopping my house. I had some old decor pieces in my basement, so I painted a few of those. I changed some things around in different areas of my home, and that is honestly a great way to save some money when you are decorating a new space. I really don't know what my decor style is or if I even have one. I just go with what I like and what I feel like goes together for the room. And for this room, I chose a lot of black because I thought the black decor would look good against the white shelving and it ties in with the dark wall. And then I also wanted to add the greenery and the plants to just bring in some coziness and just a homey feeling. This was one of the pieces that I had in my basement that I wasn't currently using and I thought if I spray painted this black, it would go perfectly in this room. When I realized I didn't have enough decor, I did look on Amazon and I found this book stack off of there. I loved that it was real books instead of the blocks. I find so many of these stacks can just be the painted wooden blocks, but these are real books and they are so pretty. I feel like I was really struggling with figuring out how I wanted to decorate these shelves. I was moving things around and I'm sure I will continue to move things around as the months go on. I just couldn't figure out what looked good on this side. I really struggled with this side, but I'm pretty much going to start switching this all out for fall decor, which is exciting. And then of course, I'm going to start moving in Christmas, which I am so excited for. I'm really looking forward to having another room to decorate for Christmas, but I'm sure things will change and I'll bring new decor in and take things out as time goes on. My Cricut cart was overflowing, so I did decide to take all of my extra supplies and stick them in this bottom drawer. I will be doing a whole other video on organizing my office, and I am really looking forward to that, so make sure you stay tuned for that one because it will be coming soon. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love you. I felt like the wall beside me just needed something else, so I did go out and buy three black frames to hang some photos in. I decided to go with my kids' newborn photos. I got some beautiful photos done when they were all born, and this was just the perfect place to display them. And then as my kids grow up and get into school, I will be switching these out for their school photos. Oh, 
from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door I absolutely love having these three photos hung up in my office. I love looking at them and I just cannot believe how quickly my babies are growing up. It is just so insane to me how fast time goes. And then for the last thing for this video, when I went back to school shopping for my kids, I also went for myself and I think I was more excited than they were. I love this kind of stuff. I love new office supplies and notebooks and pens. So I was super excited to get these in my desk and I do have some acrylic organizers coming as well so once those come in i will be filming a really good organizing video you guys we are finally finished with the office i am so excited to finally have this room complete and functional and I am beyond happy with how it turned out. I was very nervous when we started this makeover because I do feel like decorating and just seeing things come together isn't my strongest suit, but I feel like we did a great job. And like I said, I am so thrilled with how it's looking. So when you first walk in, this is of course the view. We have the desk and all of the shelving and storage behind. But when you go to the left here, I still need curtains. That is the one thing I do need is curtains and I'm going to get a black rod up here, but I didn't want to hold up the tour for that. So this is what we have for now and I will be adding the curtains whenever I find some I like. But when you come to the left here, you have all of my Cricut supplies. I added a little plant for some greenery and I ended up putting my printer up here for now. It works perfectly here. It's right across from my desk so I can print stuff off very easily. And then this is all pretty much empty for storage. I don't have anything going on. I am going to focus a future video on all things organizing. I am so excited for that. I did just show you guys the office supplies I purchased for the desk here and that kind of stuff just makes me so happy. So I'm waiting for my acrylic organizers and then I will go through and organize all of that as well. Of course I have my computer and my phone. I love the chair in here. I love the rug. I'm just happy with everything. And then the decor on the shelves. I feel like this side is very simple and pretty and kind of dainty, whereas this side's a lot chunkier with the decor items. I'm sure you guys kind of know what I mean when you look at them. So we'll see what I decide to do. I might switch things around, but I am pretty much going to start putting fall decor in here and then Christmas. So I'm gonna end up pretty much just starting back in the new year, I guess. But we got all of the decor I'm so happy with. My mixed tiles look beautiful, the black wall. And then of course the light fixture, you guys know I have been waiting forever to get a new light fixture in here. So, so happy with that. And then the final touch I wanted to add was the pictures of my babies. So we have Quinn on that side and then there's Rowan and there's Grayson. So squishy. Ugh. So cute, but those are gonna be switched out eventually for their school pictures, but I do wanna just enjoy the newborn photos for a little while because they're so cute. But so happy with how this turned out and I am so happy it is finally complete. That is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have worked on this project for what feels like months now and I just hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it and filming it and I'm actually just going to sit down and edit it right now. I will be posting this video tomorrow because I work best under pressure and I procrastinated a little bit with the editing so I'm pretty much going to spend all day today getting this video up for you guys tomorrow and like I said I just really hope you enjoy it. Let me know down below what you think, what is your favorite part of the office and I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys.